Well, folks, it's been a minute since we have covered any sort of Call of Duty news, and apparently, yeah, this is still ongoing. We still got this Dr. Disrespect story ongoing, but we're not talking about that in this video. But apparently, the homie Blame Truth, he actually disappeared. He disappeared. He's considered to be America's number one most toxic gamer that there is. And he peaced out till today. He's back. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. He's back. Today, we're going to be beefing, guys. Like the video if you just want a good game without skill based mentoring, without the friendly BBC Online. Dislike the video if you want microtransactions, if you want a bad game at launch, and if you want skill based mentoring. We're going to get into it. Sit down. Kiss your loved ones goodbye. Fasten your seatbelts. Roll it. Wait for I've it. been loving X Defiant since it's come out. I have loved posting it and talking about it on the channel and just taking a break from Call of Duty. But unfortunately, and I do mean unfortunately, I am a Call of Duty channel first and foremost. <gasps> People expect no! me to cover Call of Duty news. But I ask you, I ask you, viewer, straight up, what fucking news is there? What news is there with Modern Warfare 3? I mean, look, I, I have been, I've been very vocal about my praise for Sledgehammer Games trying their hardest to bring us... Uh, that, that, that's true, though. Like, right now, the news is very, very scarce. Uh, there is nothing really going on. It's just like, you, you got Blame Truth right, Joe Biden. He's uh, uh, praising, he's glazing X Defined. And, and you got Justin Trudeau, dude, right? Like, where is that? Yeah, it thoughts, right? So you got Justin Trudeau. He's uh, apparently defending Call of Duty and all that. Yeah, that's what's going on right now. That's what's going on. So Justin Trudeau and, and Joe Biden, both of them are like, a beef and beef and beef and both of them are fighting uh if you're watching it thoughts let me send you some uh love you homie you know sheen uh, don't take it personally man don't uh, don't go too gang or anything like that cool saying. content for modern warfare 3 and yet there's this weird thing where i don't want to fucking play it if i had a controller in my hand that was connected to a pc or console with modern warfare 3 on the screen and a fucking loaded gun in the other i'd have a hard time choosing which one i want to rest on my crotch and fiddle my thumbs on Bruh. Yeah, there's a visual for you. Let me know in the comment section if you agree with what I'm about to say as it uh, pertains to Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. I, I just have no desire to play the game. It's it's okay. just boring tripe. <laughs> and it's not Sledgehammer's fault. If you follow me on Twitter, I have been very vocal praising Sledgehammer games. This so, so, like, whose fault it is? Whose fault it is then? Tell us right now. Yeah, guys, we're actually diving in right now. Let's get it's into it. It's not your guys' fault. It's not. If, if you're a dev watching this, you're doing a great job. I'm your biggest critic. I think you're doing a great job. It's everything behind the scenes that I have an issue with. It's the same mm. stupid formula. It's Activision withholding literal features from us and lying to us and, and all that stuff. I, I've had no real news to cover since the Black Ops 6 trailer dropped. Yeah. But I do have some news. Yeah, the, the news is kind of scarce. Uh, okay, he apparently got news. He says, okay. Now oh. we got some new, uh, I, I guess not even leaks. These are pretty much confirmed things from an insider, Ghost of Hope. And also... They straight up lied to us. Not Damn. technically, but they lied to us. I want to cover Damn. all of these things after a brief word from this video sponsor. Then the past three Call of Duty multiplayers combined. Game now. No, no kidding. I had more time on this game now. Then the past three Call of Duty multiplayers combined. Straight up, I have like 140 hours. I know, I know. Touch grass, BT. It's too hot. It is absolutely miserable outside. Speaking yeah, of miserable... Oh, man. The, the the weather is crazy right now. But yeah, he's on his glazing face. You think that Blame Truth is glazing extra fine way too much? Or you think that he's being rational with it? Listen, man. I love the fact that he's enjoying a game. You know, I've never seen Blame Truth actually enjoy a game ever. Because uh, every time he's just hating on a game, right? And to a certain degree, or I should say to a lot of uh, degree... Uh, uh, his points regarding why he doesn't like what's uh, going on in Call of Duty is it, fair, though. It's fair, like, uh, I, I, I get that, but, but I have never seen him actually enjoy a game ever. So, I'm really just, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what happened. I, I don't know, like, who bit him. Maybe he, uh, like, woke up from, on, from the wrong side of bed or something. Yeah, something must have happened, right? Then now he's loving extra fine, but whatever happened... I don't care about it. The fact that the homie's loving a game, the homie's loving a game, though. That's what matters, guys. That's what matters at the end of the day. Like the video if you agree, man. The homie's loving the game, yeah. So, but but people are saying he's glazing. Uh, specifically, we got, like, uh, Justin Trudeau guy, right? Like, it thoughts. Uh, he would say, like, uh, yeah, he's just glazing the game. He's just glazing the game. Then, blame Trudeau, uh, Joe Biden, he would, like, gaslight him. And both of them just gaslighting each other. Then you got Call of Duty refugees kind of, like, coming over. Then you got Call of Duty haters on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, damn, homie, 
damn, I mean, I mean, damn, man, like, what, what is going on, man, what is going on, we just want good games, man, whether that be X Defined, whether that be GTA 10, whether that be, uh, like, Call of Duty, yeah, like, Call of Duty, absolutely, we just want good games, whether that be a new IP, another FPS game, we want more FPS games, we want more good games, simple as that, man, simple, bruh, simple. And speaking of a hot, though, I got some hot, miserable news as it pertains to Call of Duty. Uh -oh. This is just why I've checked out. We're gonna cover two things here. One is, and I've even given them like an extra seven days to kind of right this wrong, but this particular lie or delay, whatever you want to call it, that they've told here is very telling. I'll get into that in just a bit. I want to cover what Ghost of Hope says first here. Okay. His first tweet says, I get Call of Duty needs new things slash returning things to market with the next yearly Call of Duty release, but it's crazy how many of those features are purposely held back from the current game because the next game is doing it. Mm. This even applies to Warzone with the integrations. For example, Sledgehammer... Because if they do bring the features that they say they're going to bring in Black Ops 6 and they put them in Modern Warfare 3, there would be some people uh, that would be like, yo, F Black Ops 6. Uh, why do I want to bust out another like 70 USD a hundred plus uh, here Canadian for me here like damn homie that's crazy let me know where you guys at some people would definitely be like let me just stick with Modern Warfare 3 uh, real quick right let me let me just not buy Black Ops 6 let me just stick with uh, Modern Warfare 3 <laughs> and enjoy that for a little longer uh, and not waste my money right well, yeah so they they don't want to give any more incentive for you to stay with modern warfare 3 they want you buying a, a new game yeah it makes sense and li listen i've seen the black ops 6 gameplay i've seen the trailer and it does look very good i'm not impressed but it looks good it looks good uh so far at least so far and it's coming from Treyarch. Treyarch is uh, uh my favorite track is a lot of people's favorite right now e ever since infinity tar just uh, uh fumbled the bag yeah sledgehammer games second best right because they do listen to the feedback but but sometimes uh, it happens to be that activision don't let them uh, do things that the community want and by the looks of it this time this is where they are right they by the looks of it they do want to bring some features back but they, they, they can because Activision is like, well, we have that safe for Black Ops 6. Games wanted to do a classic prestige system for MW3, but got told no, and then it comes out BO6 is doing that system just a year later for their game. If Sledgehammer Games did it for MW3, then there's nothing to market about prestige for Black Ops 6. They purposely delay features. And, and, I and right now, a lot of people are like deriding as well. A lot of people are getting hit in the G spot. A lot of people are like, you know, getting hyped up because of the prestige mode coming back. Listen, prestige mode, I wanted that and I'll say that's good. That's W that they're bringing back. The only issue here is that they are using something that was in Call of Duty for 10 plus years. They remove it. Nobody liked the seasonal ranks. Nobody asked about them changing the minimap. Nobody asked them because it wasn't even broke, right? They, 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 they removed crap that wasn't even broke. They tried to fix stuff that wasn't even broke. That's the minimap. That's the proceed system. And there are countless other features that they removed. And now they're bringing it back and acting like that. It, it's new. It's new. Get excited, Call of Duty. Get excited. So... Uh, Call of Duty fans, get excited, Call of Duty fans. It's good that you're bringing it back and it's a W, but like, yeah, I mean, it's nothing new though. It's nothing new. We had that, you removed it for no other reason than uh, you're trying to fix what was not broke and now you're bringing it back and you're using that as a hype marketing ta uh, tactic and guess what? It's working. It, it is working right now. But I guess a lot of people are smarter than that, so people do realize uh, what's going on. But genuinely, based on the gameplay that we've seen, so far it does look good though. Is it gonna have the, the friendly BBC online? It's probably gonna have the friendly BBC online. Now, we're hearing that the BBC online uh, is not gonna transfer over, sadly. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's not gonna... But but they did reveal the BBC uh, operator, though. Uh, yeah, they did do a face reveal of the BBC operator. So that's good. But uh, the friendly UAV online, sadly, is not gonna be transferred over. Um, yeah, if you bought the friendly UAV online bundle, it's not gonna transfer over. And that's kind of sad, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of that's sad. Like, bruh, like, come Spawn on. Spawn like. with this. 
They will never sell you a game that's so good you don't buy next year's game. Sad because Sledgehammer Games is doing the best work right now. And Hope says, look at Pick 10 as another example. COD 2025 supposedly doing it, and it's nowhere to be seen in Black Ops 6. That's the one coming after Black Ops 6. They're just not hiding it, and more people are catching up. Uh, okay, no, I, I heard the idea. I understand the premise of this, but but uh, but see, Black Ops 2, if I'm not... Yeah, Black Ops 2 absolutely had the Pick 10 system. So for them to bring that back for Call of Duty 2025 makes sense. Those of you that did not know, Call of Duty 2025 is going to be Black Ops 2 Remake. Oh, shit. Not remaster, a remake, which means that it's going to have remaster maps from Black Ops 2, the, the original Black Ops 2. And what we're hearing is that it's also going to have new maps, similar to Modern Warfare 3 2023, right? But but this time, apparently, what they're saying is that the, uh, two, uh, w w as soon as they launch the game, it's going to have new maps too, uh, as well as the remaster maps. So a lot of people are creaming right now. A lot of people are hitting the G spot. Uh, suckers are bricked up right now. So yeah, and, and, and yeah, yeah, it sounds, the leaks are sounding good good right now i hope the game is also good so uh, for them bringing back pick 10 system next year and not this year it makes sense though but but the reason they are not having it is kind of like pathetic though uh, because uh, the the entire reason they don't want to have it this time is because they they don't know what else they can bring next year so they're like okay we're gonna do this th this year and next year we're gonna do that uh yeah I, I on now and guys i'm sorry i'm sorry let's call a spade a motherfucking spade here this okay. has been their MO for the past, like, five years, man. Purposely withholding stuff, purposely making games- uh, Okay, this uh, pick 10 system that, that they're trying to hold from this year's game for next year's game, that's, to me, not a big deal. Uh, but listen, if that's a big deal to you, I understand, though. I understand, though. I'm not, like, uh, saying that it's not a big deal or anything like that. If it is a big deal to you, it's a big deal, absolutely. But to me, that's not necessarily a big deal. I just want a good game, bro. As simple as that. I just want a good game, uh, lower skill based management, or remove it completely, get rid of EOMM, and make a good game for the gamers. Make a good game for gamers, okay? Make, yeah, simple as that. Simple as that. Mid purposely overhyping games. All they care about is that initial sale and lying to little Timmy No Thumbs and Billy Goat 57 that they're these amazing players because they're in these protected bracket lobbies with their casino based engagement optimized yeah, matchmaking system. Yeah, the, and the side mean. effect of that is you'll buy bundles because you think you're like the next scump when in reality you've been gaslit, you've been lied to. I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of it. I, I'm fucking sick of it. I am tired of it. I, I want to yell a little bit because there's all this hype with the new Black Ops 6 trailer. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's gonna fucking suck because they're not ever going to sell you a game that's so good that you don't buy the next game they release. I have said it over and over. I can't be more clear about it. It is a fact. You're never going to get the game you want. They learned their lesson by giving you. And, and, and you know, the funniest thing is that we covered that recently. This is what I was searching on the other monitor here. The funniest thing is that, you know, this skin, right? She, she, yeah, like, okay, let me actually Google this. So, COD, uh, what's it called? Firecracker? Yeah, Firecracker. Yeah, okay. Like, see what, what I'm saying? Jiggle physics. <laughs> Jiggle physics. So yeah, people were really, really bricked up for this one, right? Fire, uh, and apparently, they have nerfed the burnout. They have nerfed. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. Like, I, I cannot keep a straight face talking about it. So yeah, of course, like, we covered the story as well. Uh, as well, because yeah, it, it's absolutely pathetic. The reason is absolutely pathetic. But it's also hilarious. So this is before. So she got a perfect Bruna there, right? And after, she, look at that. They nerfed her. <laughs> and, and they sold that skin. They sold that skin for good money. I'm assuming for $20. I don't buy skins. I don't necessarily go in the devil demonic shop of Activision, the microtransaction shop. No, no, no. I don't go there. But, but like, uh, yeah, people bought the product. And like I showed you, people were searching, right? Like, everybody's searching, searching, searching. Like, uh, Firecracker. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Jiggle physics. I even seen milk or something yeah there we go bruh like there we go bruh yeah people are yeah. what what is going on here on the youtube yo hey, 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 pump the brakes though like yeah people are really re like using uh, twitter finger pro youtube finger pro right like finger pro and and searching so yeah they did nerf her burna and the the entire reason they did it is because they want to blur the line between men and uh women uh yeah for the for the gays for the trans gays and all that right Woke female censorship and yet yeah, so they did it for that reason which is absolutely pathetic but but objectively speaking they sold a product that was working <laughs> that was working uh, the jiggle physics were working right 
and after that, they nerfed it. They nerfed it, and now the jiggle physics are not working, aka the product is not working anymore. So yeah, it's like, they have UMM, they want you to buy skins, right? And you buy skins, and then they nerf the skins after that. Absolute insanity, bro. Like, that, that, it's a hilarious story, absolutely, but objectively pathetic. The best Call of Duty with Black Ops 2, and then they proceeded to release Ghosts, God Ghosts, and then more people went back and played the old game. That's not good for their business model of these yearly releases. I am so tired. I am so tired of these yearly releases. This starting over, this like bringing back features they took away in previous years for no reason, only to tout them as new and innovative or whatever. The only thing in Black Ops 6 that looks new and innovative is the fact that you can walk like a fucking jackass. Let's just call a spade a spade. You can walk like an idiot. I, I think that's gonna be a gimmick, and I think as soon as Infinity Ward and their molasses movement gets a hold of that, they're just gonna ax it. I, I seriously don't think it's gonna be. Tra any tranquilo, papi chulo. Tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo, tranquilo, tranquilo. Infinity Ward's game. After playing X Defiant, though, like legit, I'm just over this. I'm I'm over all of it, man. Guys, I know a lot of people don't think X Defiant is a threat to Call of Duty. I don't think it's trying to be a threat to Call of Duty, as in like Warzone or Campaign or Zombies or anything like that. I think they are a real threat to the actual multiplayer component, though. I truly, truly do. And realistically, you have to, you have to really ask yourself what. I, I really wonder what the homie, Justin Trudeau, or my bad, uh, Eight Thoughts, gotta say, right? Because yeah, bro, like <laughs> you gaslighting Eight Thoughts right now, bro. You gaslighting Eight Thoughts. Stop gaslighting Eight Thoughts right now. Stop! You need to stop immediately! You need to stop immediately! Stop gaslighting your thoughts, okay? <laughs> you need to stop right now, bro! Stop gaslighting my homie like that, bro. Stop. And also, it thoughts if you're watching, please stop gaslighting Blame Truth as well. Thank you! Is the incentive to play Call of Duty year after year after year when they fail to innovate, they fail to add on to the existing formula, and instead recycle, rehash, take things away, mix things up, miss the mark, not give you their best game they can give you because they have to have something they want to sell you next year. Now, in a year or even a year and a half, when X Defiant has like 50 multiplayer maps and like 70 multiplayer guns and 20 different factions. I'm probably overshooting these numbers a bit, but you get what I'm saying. When they've constantly added to the existing Bruh. formula, like Dead by Daylight or like Fortnite or whatever, as they add to the game, how in the fuck is Call of Duty going to compete, especially, especially Infinity Ward's Call of Duty? I mean, really, really ask yourself if people are going to buy Infinity Ward's next Call of Duty after the debacle, I mean the absolute debacle that was Modern Warfare 2. You guys do not know how badly Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 hurt the franchise. You really don't know how many players they lost. I, I mean, I, I was keeping track of it for the most of the year. For most of the year. They lost, where we could track it, over 80% of their player base. And, and, and I bet you, man, like, a majority uh, of the people that they lost is because of that friendly BBC Online! Because the friendly BBC Online is not gonna transfer, uh, transfer over. What they're saying is that the skins, the microtransaction purchases that you made in previous games is not gonna transfer over to this one. It's gonna transfer over to Warzone, I believe, but not necessarily to Black Ops 6 multiplayer. So yeah, a lot of people are not liking that too. So, yeah. Just for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 shitting the bed. I, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. X Defiant is going to, if they just stick to their guns and keep doing what they're doing, you know, bugs be damned, hitches be damned, glitches in the system be damned, if they keep <laughs> doing what they're doing. They, and blame truth be damned. It will eventually win out through the sheer fact that it's a free game and it, it's like they're trying. They're building up on one thing, which is what I've wanted Call of Duty to do for forever. They refuse. Damn, he they're loves they're the too game, greedy. Though. So fuck. He, he does. <laughs> Damn, he loves the game, which is, man, it's very rare to see the homie love the game. I ain't even mad. I ain't even complaining. This is not a complaint video, guys. This is a therapy session, though. And, and I love the fact that he likes the game, though. I'm happy. I'm happy for the man that's happy, though. You feel what I'm saying? Like the video if you're happy for him, though. Like, and, and to all the people that are enjoying the game, I'm happy for you, too, as well. Uh, to the people that are not liking it, hey, that's fair, bro. Like, if you don't like it, you don't like it. I, I played it, uh, didn't like it. Then I played it, didn't like it. But then I played it, I liked it. Uh, but I haven't been playing uh, that much. It, it's not like it, it's it's an all right game. It's an all right game. It's an all right game, and, and I hope it gets better and better and better and better. I believe Nero Shenema he's loving the game as well. 
It's an alright game, it's not a Call of Duty killer, but it's also not the best game on the planet either. Uh, it's uh, somewhere in between, and uh, yeah, people. some people are liking it, other people not so much. Uh, the blame, blame for this loving it. Listen, man, e even if he's glazing, bro, I got no problem, man. This is the first time I'm seeing he love a game, so I'm just happy based on that alone, bro. Like, I'm happy that he happy, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm one of those guys, like, I wanna I wanna be uh, happy for other people's happiness, if that, if that makes sense. So. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Fuck him! On top of that, lest we forget, let's look at this! This is from several months ago. Here is a look at the calendar of matchmaking focused white papers scheduled for release this year. Note, targeting, timing may shift. Ping, this is when they released that ping white paper after they dropped the matchmaking talk, which was carefully worded to avoid any sort of legal issues because their matchmaking is that shady and nefarious, but the ping white paper already went live. The skill white paper was supposed to go live at least seven days ago. <laughs> you know, like, it's, they said June 2024, it's now July. 7th, 2024. Bumble Rank play, uh, white paper about that's coming in late summer of 2024. And the last thing they're going to talk about are the experimentation methods with the matchmaking in fall 2024. I guarantee you that will be after Black Ops 6. Oh, These white me, papers will complement additional posts planned for the Call of Duty blog throughout the year to continue the conversation about Call of Duty's matchmaking process. Uh, I'm sorry, I I'm sorry here, but can I just ask you guys something? Damn, man, blame to blame to apologizes a lot, though. You feel what I'm saying? Like he apologizes a lot, a lot, a lot. He says I'm sorry like uh, all the time, right? Thing. Why in the fuck <laughs> do we need like four white papers to cover something as simple as just matching us based on ping, which is what the game should be doing? If yeah. you guys are wondering why yeah, I, I yeah. play as X Defiant so much and why I play it so much, like 140 hours in now, the main reason is the matchmaking. It is that good. This is the best matchmaking we have ever seen in a, a multiplayer shooter ever. For one, no skill. From, from the games that I played, that is true though. Like so far, I, I don't play the game that much, but yeah, from a couple of games that I played on, yeah, the matchmaking is actually pretty good. The gunplay, I don't necessarily enjoy the gunplay in this game too much though, but I enjoy the gameplay as a whole. The gameplay is actually fun in this game. Uh, I'll, I'll say that. Uh, I, I just hope that the game, uh, they, they do add more content. And uh, graphically, it's not super appealing, man. Graphics are the last, uh, not the last thing, it's not the last thing, it's not true. But graphic needs to be good though, they're not everything, they're not end all be all, but I. But whenever I play it, the game doesn't look that good though. You, you feel what I'm saying? But I'm not expecting much because uh, uh, from them, because of course X Define is brand new, it's a new IP, uh, it's coming from Ubisoft for, for crying out loud, right? Yeah, like they're uh, another in another controversy with the BBC Samurai in Assassin's Creed, people are asking for the game to be cancelled because they're disrespecting the Japanese culture and the black culture as well, both of them. So there's that aspect going around, but I gotta say like this time they actually did a, a decent job with this game. Let, let me know your thoughts, and I'm not sure if you guys actually saw this or not. Apparently, we got a brand new update to the Doctor Disrespect story. Check out this video on the screen. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left.